Hello, I'm one of the CureCoin developers, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up folding at home on Windows today, so you can fold proteins and earn CureCoin. So, first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have a folding at home account and a folding pool account. So, think of a username that you want to use, make sure you memorize it and know the capitalization, because capitalization is important, and then head over to fah-web.stanford.edu. This link here, it'll be in the description below, you can click on it or you can type it in and this will allow you to search for a specific username. So the username we're going to check is Tutorial. Tutorial is already taken. I have folded 33 credits for the team. However, that's my account, so I can go with it. If you have another account name that you want, uh, you can search for it. If it doesn't show any kind of statistics, then that account is not taken and you can sign up for it. So after checking that, you can go over to fah-webs.stanford.edu slash cgi-bin slash getpasskey.py. Again, it's in the description. And enter your donor name, like tutorial, and your email address. And then click on get passkey. That'll email you a 32-character long passkey to that email for that username. Make sure you memorize the capitalization and use it the same everywhere. This username will be the username you use throughout the entire folding at home ecosystem and the CureCoin ecosystem. So, once you get a new passkey, then you can go over to, or get an account if you didn't already have a passkey, you can go over to CryptoBullionPools.com, press enter. It'll check your browser with Cloudflare, Cloudflare, and then you can register. Click on this register button, fill out, make sure your username is the exact same as before, type in some kind of password, repeat your password, type in an email and repeat your email, a PIN, Solve the CAPTCHA, click register, then you'll be allowed to sign in and you can set up your folding account. Here you can set a um, minimum withdrawal, you can set an address to withdraw your cure coins too. Cool stuff. So you can go there and figure all that out. That's very, very straightforward and it's very similar to any other crypto pool that you've used before. If you need extra help with that though, just leave a, leave a comment in the comment section below or add a uh, message onto our forms over at curecoin.us. So, once you create your pool account and your folding account and make sure that they are the same, have the same capitalization and everything, you can close out that tab and you can close out that tab as well. And then from here you need to choose one of two paths. You can either take the path of installing the Google Chrome web extension, which is the best idea if you only have a processor in your computer. So if you don't know, that's probably the option for you. If you have a um, older machine, that's probably the option for you. If you have a lower end desktop or most laptops, that's probably the option for you. If you have a dedicated graphics card in your machine, so a gaming laptop or a gaming desktop computer, or a computer that you use for a lot of video rendering in some cases, um, or a really high end computer will usually have a dedicated graphics card, even if it's not specifically made for gaming, then you can go and download the actual desktop client. So if you fall into the boat of having a dedicated graphics card that you want to use for folding, which if you have a gaming computer or something of that nature is probably you, skip to the nine minute section of this video. Otherwise, stay tuned and we're going to install in Google Chrome. So, let's get started. For Google Chrome, you'll need two things. You'll need, of course, the Chrome web browser installed and you'll need a Google account. And you'll, of course, need to sign into your Google account on Google Chrome. So. I downloaded the Google Chrome web browser, I have it here, it's working, it's installed. I'm also signed into a Google account. Both are completely free. If you don't already have them, you can sign up for Google account and you can download Google Chrome from their website. If you're not signed into Chrome but you have an account, click on this three bar button up here and go down here. If it says signed in as and then some username and that, and that is your username, then you're golden. If it doesn't, then just click over there, it'll say, um, you know, sign into Google Chrome and you can sign into your account from there. Now you're going to want to go to the Chrome Web Store. If you are uh, just installed Google Chrome, you'll probably have a link right here to the Chrome Web Store. Otherwise, you can open a new tab and do a Google search for Chrome Web Store, or click on the link in the description below. Type in FAH, Folding at Home. And the first app that comes up, Folding at Home, from folding.stanford.edu with this molecule icon, is what you want to go with. So click on this little free button here, and click on Add. A new tab will pop up called Chrome colon slash slash apps. This is uh, where you will reaccess folding at home every time you reboot your computer or close Chrome and you need to get back to folding. You'll want to open up Chrome, go to a new tab, go to Chrome, colon, slash, slash, apps, and click here. Alternately, if you open a new tab, more recent versions of Chrome will have this apps button here. You can click on that to get back to this page. So from here, you're going to click on folding at home, and you're going to want to enter your username you used earlier. The team is 224497. This is important. If you get the wrong team, you will not get cure coins. 
you need to be folding 4 Team Cure coins so we can keep track of your statistics. Then enter your passkey from the email and click on the Save button. It'll say Identity Changes Saved and you are good to go. So, you'll notice a couple things. First of all, that you have this slider that can go from light to medium to full. You'll also notice that you have this little spinning thing and you have a percentage here. There's also a description of the current folding work that you're doing and you can get additional information from Learn More. And you have a button called Stop Folding. So, from this webpage, you're already folding and you're good. However, if you want to optimize your performance, you can adjust this slider. If you're using your computer for a lot of tasks, maybe gaming or video editing, you're either going to want to put this on light or click on stop folding in most cases. If you're doing uh, things like web browsing or watching YouTube videos, uh, there's a good chance that medium is going to be where you want to be. If you have a higher end computer, um, still not a graphics card, but you know you have a beefy CPU or whatever, then there's a good chance that you can go over to full and be perfectly fine. Full is going to use as many resources as possible to mine CureCoin on your computer. So that's almost 100% CPU usage, uh, everything like that. Medium is going to curve that back a little bit, use a little bit more than half your folding, your uh, total computing power for folding, and light is going to drastically reduce that into the 20 to 30% range. So if you're just browsing Reddit, there's a good chance that medium will work, and there's a good chance that even full will work perfectly fine without lagging your computer. If you're doing gaming, light or stop folding in most cases, and if you're doing something in between, medium is going to work for you. Also video editing and video rendering are very processor intensive tasks, so those will generally best be done when you're on light or occasionally medium. So from here you can see your current status, you can change your speed. As you see if we go to light, this completion expected time drastically increases. For you, if you have a higher end, more recent computer, you'll probably be seeing this completion time in somewhere between 8 and 12 minutes. This computer is showing ridiculous times because it is a VM that has only one core of a processor uh, attached to it, and so it's very, very slow right now. And the computer that's hosted on is currently folding as well, so it's competing for a lot of CPU power. So you'll see 2 hours and 44 minutes for light, 2 hours and 50 minutes, it just keeps going up. We're over 3 hours now. Bring that over to medium, you'll start seeing that come down, of course. We're down below 3 hours, going down, headed down to 2.30, and then if I go over to full, it'll go down even more, and you'll see it uh, on this machine hit the 1 hour and some odd minutes mark. On your machine, it'll of course be way faster than that. So, if you want to stop folding temporarily, you can click this, and that will pause your current project. You don't need to close the tab, it is done. If we open Task Manager, you will see that performance, our CPU, is barely being utilized, which is great. We can go over to start folding, and you'll see, of course, that since we're on full, we are now at 100% CPU usage as expected, and we have resumed work. So you can click on stop folding there. If you are folding and you want to reboot your computer, closing this tab will lose your current progress on this work unit. So this percentage that, once it comes back, that you see right here, you will lose that amount of work on your work unit. So what you want to do is you want to click this X up here, but then with this prompt, click on the stay on this page option. That'll keep you on this page and that way you will uh, finish that work unit and then it won't download a new work unit. So normally, every time it finishes a work unit, which is a uh, chunk of work that your computer is going to do and then return for points, it will download a new one whenever it finishes. However, if you click that and then click stay on this page, it'll finish your current work unit, but once it's done, it won't actually download a new work unit. It'll just wait, it'll pause, it'll be in sleep mode and from there then you can close the tab without losing any progress. Otherwise you're just wasting computational power because you did some amount of work and then you quit out and you never got points for that and that uh, processing never got returned to Stanford. So we're approaching the nine minute mark. All right, and welcome back, we're at the nine minute mark now. So if you have a dedicated graphics card, I'm gonna show you how to set up folding for that too. Now, if you have a dedicated graphics card, it's important that you do fold on it because you get significantly more points on a GPU than you do on most CPUs, for example, a uh, standard i7 will be getting between maybe four and 8,000 points per day, whereas a beefy GPU like maybe a 780, if it gets Core 17 work units, which we'll discuss in just a minute, might be getting more like 130 to 160,000 points per day. So definitely a big increase having GPUs and CPUs. So GPUs are very important to fold on. If you have them, you'll earn a lot more CureCoin. Points per day do not translate to CureCoin, Points per day are used to calculate how many cure coin you get. So if you get 10% of the points per day for Team Cure Coin, you get 10% of the cure coins that the folding pool is paying out that day. So we'll talk about that in a bit too. However, right now you're going to want to actually download the client. So go to folding, 
www.stanford.edu slash home slash the hyphen software. Again, that link is of course in the description below. And you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to where it says start folding, click on that, and a little pop-up's gonna come up and it's gonna say, add your computer's powered over 327,000 others that are helping us find cures, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Click on this download link here. If you're in Chrome, the download's gonna show over here. If you're in Firefox, it's gonna be up here at the top right-hand corner with the little downwards arrow. In Internet Explorer, it's going to prompt you and say, what do you wanna do with this file? And you can choose to either save or run. Running it should work perfectly fine, but if you'd rather save it and then browse to that directory and open it up later, that works cool too. Moral of the story, download Folding at Home installer and somehow get it open. So it's finished over here. We can click on that and open that up. Click yes to the UIC prompt that'll pop up. Click next. I agree and leave it at express install. From here, it'll start the installer. It'll extract everything it needs. It'll give you all the resources, install the client. Something important to remember is that this client will open at startup. So if your computer's being slow and you're trying to do stuff, folding's happening in the background. So you'll want to go in and pause it. We'll talk about that in a minute as well. So, now that we're done, make sure this checkbox of Start Folding at Home is checked, and click on Finish. It'll likely open up this new tab. In the future, if you want to control your client, you can either go to this URL, or you can go to the Folding at Home client that I'm going to show you in just a minute, which is a little bit more advanced. So, make sure you click this radio button for Setup an Identity, and click on Start Folding. You need to set up an identity, otherwise you will not be earning any cure coins, so very important. Type in your, your username, whatever your username is, type in your team number, and then type in your pass key. You can copy and paste it from the email, or you can type it in manually as I'm doing right now. Once you're done with that, click on save and it'll sign you into your account. It'll then say I'm folding as and then your username and your team 224497. It's important that you choose team 224497 because that is the CureCoin folding at home team. And if you do not choose that team, your points will not be recorded in the CureCoin system and you will not receive any CureCoins for your contribution. They will simply go to another team or to no team at all. So you have to have the team 224497 to receive CureCoin and you have to be signed into an account. Make sure that account and the capitalization is the exact same one you used in the email and is the exact same one you used when you signed up on CryptoBullionPools.com, the folding pool. So, here you'll have some options, power, light, medium, full. You can stop folding, and you can choose when folding occurs. So, a couple of important things to note are that, uh, one, this power slider. Light is great if you're just doing some, um, maybe gaming or video editing, and you just want something going on in the background. You want your computer to be doing something with a little bit of spare CPU power, but you don't want it to slow you down at all. Medium is great if you're just doing maybe web browsing or things like that. And full, if you have a beefier computer, you can still do web browsing and watch YouTube videos and things like that on full without any lag, but you're not going to be able to do things like gaming or anything processor intensive like video editing or rendering very well if you're on medium or full. So just keep that in mind. If your computer is acting slow, bump this power down. If your computer doesn't seem to be acting slow and seems to be having a perfectly fine time doing whatever you're trying to do on it while you're folding, bring this over to medium or full, try to bump it up because you will get more points per day, which points more points per day gets you more cure coins per day. So this little win here while I'm working will allow it to run constantly whenever you have your computer on. Only when idle will mean only when your computer has been idle for a certain period of time, usually somewhere around eh, between 5 and 15 minutes. It's just based on the client to decide that. And that's when your computer's not being used very much, then it'll kick in. So if you only want it maybe running uh, at night when you go to sleep, check only when idle and then leave your computer on when you go to bed. Otherwise, if you want it running during the day, check while I'm working. So if you want to do something really processor intensive or your computer's still lagging while you're trying to do stuff, click on stop folding and that will completely stop it. You can stop now, which will completely stop your work unit, or you can choose to finish up then stop, which means finish the current work unit you're working on. And then once you're done with that, then stop, don't download and start a new one. So work units are um, basically units of work. They are packages that your computer downloads, does a bunch of processing work on, and then returns to the server for credit. And so it's important that you don't just randomly stop and discard work units. If we click stop now, it will go, uh, it'll say stopping, this will turn red, and then once it's done, and once you're done with what you're doing, it'll say paused up here, and you can resume. Now, Stopping will lose you one percentage, uh, up to one percentage point. It'll round down to the uh, latest percentage point because that's how it does check marks or checkpoints. 
every 1% of the processing it saves. And so if you have a slower computer, that percentage may take quite a while to complete. So this is a VM. It has one processor core, and that processor core is already being used by my host system for folding right now. So it's going to be quite slow. However, on your computer, it'll go a lot faster, especially if you have a higher end computer. If you have a GPU, it'll show a CPU here and a GPU. If you have multiple GPUs, it'll show them all on this page. If you want more specific control over your folding though, you can use the folding at home client that is standalone on your computer. So I'm gonna show you how to use that in just a second. Drink some water. So remember light, medium, full, depending on how much you're using your computer. Light means you're using your computer for a lot of stuff and you want folding at home to be light. Medium means, oh, you know, let it use a fair amount of my processing power, but I wanna be able to use my computer too. Full means either A, I have a really high-end computer and I'm not using it for much right now, or I want it to run out completely full power and I'm not expecting to do much with my computer, or maybe you're just browsing something like Reddit and performance is not a big issue. So, generally you're gonna to wanna to leave this on full for the most points per day, or on medium or light for the best computer performance while you're using it. Once you're done with that, if you want to in the future get back to it, you can go to this URL, folding.stanford.edu slash client in your web browser, or you can go to FAH control, just search for it here. And this program, once it opens, will allow you more specific control. If you have multiple slots, maybe a CPU and two GPUs, they'll all show here. You can pause each one individually, and you can go to configure here and go to slots, click on CPU and click on edit to change the number of cores that it's using. So say you have an eight core CPU, you could set that to seven so that it'd only be using seven cores of your computer, leaving one for yourself.